Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here. In this video, I want to talk about a problem that I think a lot of people have, myself included, and that is trouble with finishing projects. You see, personally for me, um, I don't know about you, but this is how it is for me. Uh, when I start a new project, excitement is high, motivation is high, and that's when I want to work on the project, you know, at all hours of the day. But as time goes on, if I hit roadblocks, uh, maybe something in life comes up, I'm starting to lose steam a little bit and forget about my project, uh, then it eventually just dies off and ends up as a half finished project in some folder I keep on my computer and I have like a ton of these folders. So that that is the way with me. In this video, I want to share with you guys some tips that I have to combat that. Um, and hopefully it's helpful to you guys if you guys suffer from the same problem. Now, number one, I think the most important thing, especially for beginners, is to um, basically scope out your project properly because a lot of people come into this thinking, oh, they're gonna build this giant, great app that everyone's gonna love. And then as soon as they get a little bit into it and they start working in Xcode and Swift, they start to realize, wow, it's a lot of work involved. And then they have a busy schedule, they have a family life, and really there's not that much time to get this done. And then they start realizing that maybe they can't get it done. So my advice for you uh, is to basically take a small core feature scoped version of your project. Um, and if you guys have read this book called The Lean Startup by Eric Ries, that's basically what I'm talking about. There's this concept that he talks about uh, called MVP, which is Minimal Viable Product. And it basically is like the smallest feature set that you can have for your app where it's still useful and still solves the problem that it sets out to solve. Because the idea is that you don't want to build this massive giant thing and then no one likes it and you've wasted all this like resource, time, money, uh, effort into it. You want to release this small little MVP and get feedback on it. Maybe some people like something and they didn't like another thing. You take that feedback and you create like a version two and then a version three. And as you're creating these iterations, your products can get better and better and better. So that's the way that I think you should approach it as well. And that's the way that I approach all of my new projects. Number two is to be specific about your app or your project. Uh, a lot of people, they wanna build a social app or they wanna build a game like Angry Birds or something that is very hand wavy. I know I wave my hands a lot, but, uh, just be very specific because if you're vague like that, um, you can't do anything with it. You say you want to build a social app. How do you start working on that? What do you start working on? But if you say something like, my social app will share photos, uh, the users will have the ability to take a photo. They can apply one of five filters to it. Filter one will be like blur, filter two will be haze or whatever. Uh, so the more specific you can be about it, the more tangible it becomes. And the more you have, the more you can perform work on it, because now you're you're thinking, oh, I need to figure out how to upload photos. So then you go in and research that and work on that. Uh, okay, number three is to set a timeline, because as a procrastinator, which is what I suffer from, <laughs> I don't know about you, uh, you tend to put the things on the back burner that don't have deadlines, and you're just dealing with the things that are due first. Um, so if your project doesn't have a timeline or a projected date where it needs to be done, you're probably going to push it off indefinitely, especially when it comes time where you've lost that motivation and excitement. That's when you really need these other mechanisms to come and help you finish the project. When you're excited and you're motivated, you don't need a timeline. You're, you want to work on the project. But the timeline, the due date comes in handy when you've lost that steam and you just need to get it done. Uh, number four, we're talking about accountability. And I've read somewhere before, I can't remember exactly where that the act of telling people that you're going to do something is actually bad. Because when you tell people you're going to do stuff, it feels good to you, the person telling uh, that you're announcing and you're, you know, you're, you're making all of these promises, it feels like you've done something. It feels like you've taken a step towards your goal when in reality, no work has been done. Um, so I feel like 
having like one accountability partner or two maybe is really good. But if you're just, you know, waving your hands saying you're going to do stuff in general, I don't think that's going to get you anywhere. So have someone that, you know, can tell you with brutal honesty, maybe your significant other, your mom, your dad, who's not afraid to really lay it on you. Um, tell them you're going to do this and ask them to help keep you accountable. Okay, so number, what are we on? Number five. And this is to work on this habit of not finishing projects because that's what this is. It's not a character flaw. It's not something you're born with. I feel like it's a bad habit. You've just, uh, personally me, we've just gotten into the habit of not finishing what we started. Um, if you've read the book called The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg, they, uh, he has a framework and a lot of good techniques to um, try to turn bad habits around into good habits, into what you want. So I highly recommend you give that a read. Uh, but one of the things that you can do is ties in with that first rule, which is to keep your project's scope small, uh, is to get all those quick wins uh, by shipping apps. So if you have an app idea or a project that is like small enough you can get actually completed and get done, I'd say that's a win. You do that again, that's a second win. You keep doing that and you will get into the new habit of finishing what you started and that will cure the old habit, that will break the old habit. Uh, so that is number five. And you know, I'm talking about all of this, I hope it really helps you. Um, I don't know if you have the same problem, but one of the things that I want to do with you guys is to um, have like a motivational challenge or like, you know, this, this group of us that wants to build apps and wants to actually like get them done uh, where we try to build and ship an app in a month so i'm going to start a challenge like that this is like a little preview for next week and it's free to join whoever wants to join um, i'll put some structure around it but that's something that personally i think will help me and hopefully help you guys whoever struggling with building and shipping apps uh, to actually release apps and not just have half-baked apps so I'm really looking forward to launching that challenge with you guys and getting some apps built and shipped together. Anyways, I hope this video has been really helpful for you, that these tips will help you if you're struggling with the same problem. I actually have a question for you, and that is, do you guys struggle with the same problem uh, of not having the motivation to finish the projects that you start? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, and if you are struggling with this same problem let me know if you have your own tips and your own things that you do to help yourself break the habit or um, let me know if one of the tips that i've given in this video really resonates with you all right so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next week bye for now hey did you join my free facebook community yet that's where i hang out along with a ton of other people learning ios just like yourself i also post early access to all of my videos inside that group before i put them on youtube you can also get help with any questions you're having visit the link below click on the join group button and i'll approve your request right away all right so i'll see you in there talk soon